Back to Politics Nation. As Putin's war in Ukraine continues to create a humanitarian crisis that has left many displaced, black refugees are facing their own particular forms of injustice as they attempt to flee the war zone. <laughs> Today is Saturday, April 2nd, 2022. Investigation by the independent newspaper in England recently found that Ukraine residents of non-white origin who have crossed the border to escape the war have been detained in EU immigration facilities, with some having been there for weeks. Joining me to now to discuss this is Hector Addison, lead with the Global Black Coalition. Hector, before I get into that report, we hear about the weekly humanitarian corridors, they call it, uh, that are specific routes for people to evacuate certain cities. But your organization, the Global Black Coalition, has been known for organizing and utilizing social media to help African students flee Ukraine safely. Can you tell our viewers more about your organization, what it is doing on this front? Thank you, Reverend, for having me. Yes, it's a... Uh... It's sad to see what is going on. Uh, our organization basically, basically sprang to being after seeing the images and videos on social media uh, about how blacks were being treated, uh, being kicked out of buses, being prevented from entering train and all that. We know racism exists everywhere, but in the face of war, we expected something better than that. And that is why we say, you know what, let's use this social media to organize. So our association, African Canadian Association, one of our staff saw it and he brought us to our attention. And we said, hey, you know, bring people all over the place and then let's gather and then let's help people. So we've been using various social media handles, various uh, WhatsApp groups, organizing everything uh, to make sure that we bring relief to people mm. in Ukraine. Black people in Ukraine and people around, around the borders who are being detained and who are being prevented from getting into some of these shelters. And that is how the organization was born, and we call it Global Black Coalition. It's a coalition of individual organizations from the United States, from Canada, from Britain, from Switzerland, from Germany, from France, and, and more and more people are joining our effort. Now, I want to hear now your reaction to this report by the Independent that found several refugees of non-white origin coming from, from Ukraine have been detained and at least four students have been held 40 kilometers from the Polish capital with, quote, little means of communication with the outside world and no legal advice. According to the report, the Polish government Polish police and Estonian authorities declined to, con to comment on the allegations. However, a press officer at the IOM said the organization was aware of three other facilities in Poland where, quote, third country nationals arriving from Ukraine who lack proper travel documentation are brought to for the purpose of identity verification. What is your reaction and what options exist for black refugees who are being detained? Yeah, it, it's very sad, okay? And I can tell you that, yes, these facilities exist not only in Poland, but we have one in Germany, we have one in Switzerland. It exists almost everywhere, okay? And that is, that is unfortunate, even though EU has mandated that all in fleeing international students should be accepted and given permanent residence, so temporary residence for a while, while they figure out where to go next. But this has not been the case for almost all the black students who, who have been able to flee into these countries. Whilst we acknowledge that some of them are in shelters, and our organization have helped some of them get into Airbnb facility with a partnership of Airbnb. Get it. it has not been the case for everybody. Some of them have been detained. And as you rightly said, we have people in detaining camps and we have legal representatives who are fighting every day to make sure that these mm -hmm. people, their legal rights are respected. Uh, all they need to do is to contact us. We have... Uh, and before uh, you give that, because I want to get the, uh, how to contact you, but uh, some numbers for our viewers, your organization has really done remarkable work on the refugees uh, front, having helped evacuate 
1,289 black students and family from Ukraine and have helped assist 219 of those evacuated end up in Switzerland, Germany, or France. Your organization has also sent 65 students back to their home countries in Africa. Now, can you tell us how these efforts have been looking? Uh, what does it look like behind the scenes? <laughs> Sometimes it's very chaotic when we have so many people passionate about doing the work, working, but all, all good. It's, it has not been easy. Uh, we have been constrained in terms of fund, funding, but we have always found a clever way and uh, uh, to be able to do the work. We recognize that as we speak now, we still have a lot of people in there, right? Yes, and as much as we can be proud of the work we've done, it saddens my heart to see uh, yeah. say that some of our folks were stripped naked, okay, attempting to, to, to even uh, leave a uh, case in Ukraine. Uh, and that's because the Russian folks uh, got hint and basically apprehended them, uh, searched them, and then they let them go. Wow. It's unfortunate some of the things that are going on in there. We still have about 18 students who are still stuck there. Now we are trying to make sure they, 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 they get out and get out well, that, safely. That's why I wanted to have you on. Tell people how they can find your organization and, and uh, where they can go to uh, watch and see how they can be supportive of your work. So, so we, 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 if you go to African Canadian Association of Orwa website, it's ACA Orwa dot com a c a r o dot com you go there there's a link uh, to our GoFundMe page and some of our we other websites that are spring up with our partners and everywhere so that's a place to go if you want to donate to our courses that's the place to go right. but also we are not only doing that we are also encouraging not only getting them out but because they were students we are working with government and the universities across Europe and Canada here in US to be able to accept some of them as transfer students. That's as we speak now, University of, University of Ottawa is taking the lead and we are working with uh, Canadian Medical Association to ensure that this medical student okay. gets into institutions. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Hector Addison, for being with us and giving us that information. Uh, Thanks for having me. Next up, my final thoughts. The slap that stopped the show at the Oscars. We'll be right back. All people in the world have a right to life, liberty, pursuit, happiness. Everyone should be treated with dignity and respect. Nonviolence. 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 Cape love. Concern. Compassion is the answer. I thank you for our YouTube channel, One Race, Human Race, All Human. Today is Saturday, April 2nd, 2022. Monday, April 4th, 2022 is the 54th commemoration of the assassination of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Who stood for all people, everywhere, be treated as human beings, be treated equally, with dignity and respect.